Hey Bartleby Munch, I'm Random Psy, and the reason we are in my car today is because we're going to be installing a 12 inch kicker sub. If you guys don't know anything about subs, it's basically just an extra speaker you add to your sound system to add more bass. The reason I'm going to be going with this brand new kicker sub is because they made it specifically for cars like mine and trucks and stuff like that that have limited trunk space. My car is already a sports car, so I barely have a trunk already, but then the convertible top takes even more away from it, so this is the perfect sub for my car. I'm also going to be going with a kicker 400 watt amp, but my sub can handle up to 500. Now the perk of getting a less powerful amp is that you can never blow your sub, which is more likely to blow than an amp. I'm also going to be getting it professionally installed by the guys at Creative Car Audio. This is just because I don't really know how to do it and I, I like to have things professionally installed so that there's no like problems or anything. Now the reason I'm getting a sub is frankly just because I want more bass. My car already has a decent sub in it already. I'll play it for you guys real quick. Now I'm going to be playing this on volume 20. That's like the max volume I'll ever go and that's like only halfway. This is just a, a bass test on YouTube. And this guy has 81 million views. <laughs> Dang, I might have to make one of those videos. So it already comes with a, a pretty decent speaker. I just want more for no reason. All this name brand kicker stuff and being professionally installed does come with a price. So I'm hoping that the price is worth it. I think it will be. Gatorade Zero. Yeah, I'm just gonna try a couple of uh, other videos. Do I, do I even, do I even need a sub? Kind of rethinking everything right now. I'm kind of getting nervous. I hope it's. I hope I can hear a difference. Anyway, yeah, let's go get this bad boy installed. Hey, so we have them installed. It's actually been a month after I got them installed. It didn't actually take that long. It only took about an hour or two. They're pretty quick about it. They're at Creative Car Audio. So I'm here at a parking garage in Springfield just to get away from everybody so I could really let these subs rip and not have to worry about any noise complaints from my neighbors or anything. Literally, as I said, that siren started. There might be quite a few sirens because we're in downtown. It's it's snowing. Could be a few car accidents. But yeah, anyway, let's just let her play. Same as we did before. State Farm. So we're gonna be running at 20 volume, the same volume that we were with the original speakers. It's kind of gonna be hard for you guys at home to tell unless you have a good sound system to listen to this video on, or if you're listening to like some AirPods that, that actually have you know good bass. Because if you just listen with your phone, it's gonna sound the same. The real main difference you'll see is that everything's like kind of shaking more uh, in my car, not maxed out all the way, just. So yeah, huge, huge difference. I said before that I was nervous that I wasn't gonna notice that big of a difference, but it is a complete game changer. Now you guys might have noticed there's a little bit more rattle, and I mean, that's just from the trunk in my roof. I mean, you're always gonna have trunk rattle just because, you know, the added vibration makes everything vibrate. But yeah, it sounds amazing. I definitely, definitely recommend. You don't always have to go with the most expensive option. Like I got, I had to go with the most expensive option just because of my trunk space situation. My friend Jackson, who is in this video, actually has enough space in his SUV to fit two 12 inch subwoofers, so I'll play a clip of his real quick. But with my scenario and what I had to deal with, I believe that my setup is the best possible one that you can have. So it comes with the kicker 12 inch sub. I also have the kicker amplifier and a kicker wiring system. And with that kicker amp, I got this Bluetooth knob. The reason it was so expensive was because I had all of the name brand things, which again, you don't have to get, but that's just what I went with. Cool thing about this little remote. So the main one you're gonna be on is gain. This is the volume knob for the bass. And then I don't know what shock or phase means. He just said not to worry about it because they tuned it for me. And and then the clip light down here. So if I'm pushing it too hard and I'm at max, then the clip button will come on. And basically what that means, it tells me to turn it down because it may cause harm towards my subwoofer. So that's nice that I have a safety light so I'm not just blowing it. So of course, after I got them installed, I picked up all of my friends so that they could hear it. So yeah, here's their reactions. I think I'm asleep. Like, don't pretend you're asleep. <laughs> <That'd be funny. laughs> Whoa. Whip in the kitchen. No I like the, I like the deeper sound. That's a good sound. I 
our neighbor just called. I got my first uh, noise complaint, guys. Time. Hey, on me. Yeah. We know your home Hello? Oh, I'm down here in Silas' car checking out his new sub that he got. I thought I heard him bumping somebody bumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what Could you guys hear? Isn't that sick? All right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> what a guy. I know you want to hear the song, dude. Yeah. This is the song. Right. Cool. Hey. If it's fun, come and see. Oh my god, dude. Dude. about it. One. This song got bad. Sam's final thoughts. Okay. What would you rate it out of ten? Having no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> and my super low expectations going into everything, probably a nine, dude. So yeah, like I said before, I'm definitely happy with my purchase. I recommend getting a sub to anyone who wants to start bumping and sound cool whenever you're at a stoplight. I also definitely recommend the kicker setup that I have to anyone who has the same problem as me with the trunk space situation. Just because it's a little box doesn't mean it doesn't bump. It definitely still hits hard and it is loud. Loud, okay? Don't underestimate it, it is loud. If you want to see any more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to follow me on any other social media, I'm at Random Sign, literally every platform, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, literally everything. And always remember to stay random. Saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke.